Yo, what is going on guys? I am bringing you a pretty huge trade day. This has a lot of good players. These are all for my team. We're going to get right into it. We have the first player is Corey Perry Movember. He goes to about 200 to 250k. I'm not really sure what this market right now, but whatever you guys want to send in is just if you send a trade that's pretty close, I will really appreciate it. Then we have Movember Ryan Suter, who's actually a pretty good card as well. Probably one of the best, I would say, the best defensive defenseman in the game. Never really tried out Weber, but besides that, I've tried out pretty much a lot of the other guys, and I would say he's definitely the best that I've tried out. And I don't really know what he goes for. I believe he's around 200k as well. Next player we have is probably one of my favorite forwards in the whole entire game, Matt Duchesne. 90 overall. He only goes for about 150k now. I would think he might go for a bit less, actually, 140, 135, something like that. I paid 210 and got a steal at the time. He's going for like 250. So now it's not looking so good. John Tavares, he's a pretty good player. I wouldn't say he's amazing, but he's really good at with his shot. And he's got some pretty good hands, as well as playing a bit... Well, he's definitely better defensively and physical than Matt Duchesne, but he's a bit slower. Otherwise, they're sort of similar players, but Tavares is a very good player. I don't really know what his price is, so you guys could do that. Send whatever you want, but as long as it's pretty fair, so I'll appreciate any trades whatsoever. Phil Kessel, he's a really good, but again, defensively checking, not the greatest, but he's just, he has an unreal shot, and he's got amazing speed with some good hands, so if you want a really good forward, he's your guy. We have Drew Dowdy, who's really good as well, probably one of my top three, top four defensemen I've used throughout this whole game. He's really, really good, really fast. He's got amazing hands, which is unlike most defensemen, and he's a pretty good shooter as well. And defensively, he's obviously Matt, um, Drew Dowdy. I was going to say Matt Duchesne. That wouldn't have made no sense. So he's pretty good defensively as well. I don't know what his price is either. I think it's around 60, 70 K. Claude Giroux is probably top five forwards I've used. So I really like him a lot. He is unreal with his hands. He probably has the best hands in this game that I've used. I've never used Patrick Kane. So maybe close to that. And Datsuk's is good as well. But I think Giroux's is a bit better. Giroux, people say he's not that fast. For me, he was pretty fast, but I had an assistant captain card on like the whole time, but I'm not really sure. Checking, he's not the greatest. Same with his defense. He's, I've never really noticed him that much on the poke checks, but he does say 87, but not really noticed it. I think he's around 70k player. Petrolangelo is a very good player in my opinion as well. I didn't really get to use him that much, but he's definitely really good, and he's only about 60k, so I think he's definitely worth it. Rick Nash, got to use him a bit. He's really big and doesn't really get knocked off the puck that much, and he's in an unreal shot. His skating didn't really stand out that much, but he would not get knocked off the puck, and he had so many goals for me, so he's definitely a really good player as well. He's around, mm, I think it's 40k, something like that. I'm not even sure. I haven't checked the market in a while, but he's up there. And last but not least, Eric Carlson, who's probably the fastest defenseman in this game. 90 skating, 93 hands. He's sort of like dowdy but i would say he's definitely a lot better in terms of for uh, offense that he's going to bring defensively dowdy's probably a bit better but carlson is cheaper as well so we have all these guys up for 300,000 start price team name is just decastry and it's going to end on monday the 17th of november at around 10 p.m no it's going to end around 9 p.m so 9 p.m eastern standard time so make sure you send in trades prior to that if you want to go over a trade the best way is on twitter send me a tweet at decastorce rex and you can comment as well to go over trades in this video. But anyway, if you guys send any trades, it's really appreciated. Any trades that are fair, obviously. Again, if you want to send any certain type of trades or go over things, contact me. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I really appreciate if you could send some trades in. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.